Shalom. I'd like to say all praises due unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopeful members of the elect. This is just a lesson in regards to. Uh, I'm gonna go into it. Uh, the five civilized tribes and the Delawares, like the Delaware Indians. All right. Um, and the mixture with the uh, with the Reubenites, you know, and uh, the House of Judah, you know, because uh, there was a mixture. You know, let's get that. there was a mixture you know because uh, let's get that so lucky yeah. We're gonna, uh, I'm gonna mix it up because um, there's a lot of history that we have to, uh, you know, dissect, all right, because, uh, you know, we inherited lies, you know, from, uh, you know, the Idumians, you know, who uh, deceived our people, man. So this is gonna be uh, Second Ezra 13, verse 40 by the prophet Ezra, which was living during the time of the Babylonian captivity. All right. Those are the 10 tribes which were carried away prisoners out of their own land in the time of Hosea the king, whom Salmanazar the king of Assyria led away captive, and he carried them over the waters and so they came to another land all right so you know there you know after the the fall of the kingdom of uh, david you know the kingdom was divided right because solomon he transgressed against the heavenly father right but even though there was a 40 years of peace all right you know he's the wisest king of israel but you know in his latter reign he uh started do, uh worshiping idols all right and uh he fell you know and uh ultimately all right and uh the uh, prophet told him that uh his kingdom was going to be like divided right the kingdom of judah and then like the northern kingdom all right the ten tribes all right, because uh, after the death of Solomon, you know, there was uh, Rehoboam and on that Rehoboam and uh, and on um, that Jeroboam. All right, so uh, the kingdom was divided. Right, so the southern kingdom and versus the, the northern kingdom. All right, so uh, there was war. There's many wars, you know, like when we're living in the land against. Uh, you know, the uh, the northern tribes versus the southern tribes. So there is a great war. You know, for you know, for many moons, many years. All right, and then it split it, and you know, and then our people was doing all kind of idolatry, wicked, wicked worship of idols, and uh, you know, and ultimately, uh, you know. Uh, that the Mosai got tired of it, man, and uh, you know he set up the Assyrians, and they and the Assyrians were led away, you know, captive. All right, and let's put that the Assyrian led away captive. Let's.
because uh, you know like there's a lot of like you know like footage of the uh, Assyrians you know being led away captive all right so let's uh Israelites, let's see. Cause there are a lot of uh when you go to the certain museums around the world, you know, there's a lot of footage, you know, of the Israelites. One hundred percent. You know, this is our people, man. Braids, you know, like probably a me tree, you know, like a me tree. Or a bandana, then the Syrian they're leading our way captive, man. All right. I believe these are like the Levite priests. See, they have braids. You know, the players are instruments. You know, they're in. Um, you know, let me put more into the Syrian. See, where people were the Assyrians, right? They're leading our way captive. So, so these were the northern tribes. See, they have beards. You know, look like their their hair is curly. Well, it's another one. See braids. You know. These are the northern tribes, you know? Led away captive. But they took this counsel amongst themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into a further country where neither man kind dwelt. Alright, so our people, we, uh, you know, you know, like they came to that conclusion, you know, that, um, you know, th that they were going to go to another land. All right. So they, so they went into, uh, you know, eventually to uh, South, uh, Central and North America and the Caribbean. All right. And um, there was a. Uh, you know shows you our people were you know were very people were uh you know like navigators and and they had maps all right and um they basically uh they came let's look at uh let's look at this so luck yeah second yeah so um our people were basically uh after the fall of the Syrian empire you know they, they came to the euphrates you know by the narrow narrow passage of the river all right and um they ventured basically uh it took them um it took them a, a, a distance right uh you know a while you know to uh you know like for them to you know to um like like to like to cross over or whatever because um when you read about you know king solomon yeah when you read about king solomon all right and king david you know king david and um and um like haram abif which he was uh he was of the tyrians all right the hammer all right? and uh you know they had a pack right and uh after the death of uh, david solomon he uh he still used haram abif 
all right and they uh they had a pack and uh Harama Biff he, like he would um uh, he had a, a root or whatever which was been from um when you read about it you know when in like the, like in the book of Josephus and um when you read like the different books you know throughout the bible about Harama Biff you know um you know he had a a a, a root over here in the Tarshish, which would have been Spain, all right, Portugal, all right, and they basically they had like a, a exchange route, and they would go back and forth, you know, like to the Americas, get certain uh, wood, um, you know, on um, the precious minerals, whatever, and uh, you know, and they could like be able to. Uh, you know go through the mediterranean and as well there was another port too or whatever um is in something like basically like they would go through this you know like through like the red sea or the gulf of, or like the gulf of adan like what they call it now and like they would go around here you know and go around this you know south africa what they will call it now but um basically there was uh you know because over here there is a is a, there's very rough or whatever right you know the uh the tide you know so it took them a year and a half right so they would get a lot of precious resources and go back and forth and go um, you know like meet up with King Solomon you know and then prior to Solomon was you know King David you know like they had a pack all right and they were friends but they took this counsel amongst themselves that they would leave the multitude of the heathen and go forth into another country where there ne where never mankind dwelt that they might keep their statues which they shall that which they never kept in their own land and they entered into the Euphrates by the narrow passages of the river for the most high showed signs for them and held still the flood till they were passed over all right so our people went through you know this rough this rough uh you know tide you know over here all right and uh you know and they are the same people of uh, the portuguese explorers when you read about uh you know that that's another thing but uh you know um, there's a guy named Bartholomew Dias, right, and uh, Henry, like Prince Henry the Navigator, who migrated. Um, you know they had a, a vast, you know, like trade route, and they were Israelites at the time. You know, but um, you know, and this is how we have all these world maps and stuff. So. Uh, you know so this is what's over here south africa you know where or or this region over here what they would call uh i think they, i think they would call this like the good hope you know when you read about that history because it's very rough so the hammerites they would go back and forth you know for and you know it says uh for the most high showed signs for them and held still the flood till they passed over right so the ten tribe for there through the country there was a great way to go namely of a year and a half and the same was called asterif right which means new land then dwelt there then dwelt there until the latter days 
times, all right, which were in the latter days time now, all right, and prior, all right, because when you read about, um, you know, like the explorers, all right, when you read about, um, you know, the, like the Portuguese navigators, like Prince Henry, the, uh, Prince Henry, you know, like the navigator, um, you know, I think Bartholomew Dias, you know, he's a Portuguese navigator, Matias da Costa, um, Henry St. Clair, he was a Scottish, you know, he, our people came to the Americas, all right, and, uh, under, um, under Catholicism, a lot of them, um, and, um, you know, because a lot of our people were, uh, Knights Templars and Templars, all right, and, um, you know, and basically, uh, as well as certain parts of West Africa, like, um, like Mandinga or Mali, you know, a lot of them are practicing that Islam. So our people would go back and forth, you know, to the Americas, you know, during, uh, you know, from the 1300s all the way up till now, all right? They dwelt there until the latter times, and now when they shall begin to come, right? So... You know, so the southern tribes, you know, Judah, Benjamin, Levi, uh, pretty much came. And then eventually the transatlantic slave trade, you know, which um, a lot of our pe our people played a, a, a heavy part of it, of it, man, as well. All right. And these Idumians, you know, who rose back up, all right, because we fell. Ultimately, right, because we transgressed against the law statutes of the Heavenly Father. But, um, this is, uh, because I'm going to try and, uh, you know, by one, I mean, by, uh, the one mark, like the one hour mark, um, uh, I'm going to, uh, close. But, um, uh, there's a lot of history, man. So let's go. It says uh, the five civilized tribes, right? Which has been, you know, like the Reubenites, all right? It says uh, the Da's, the, it says the Da's Act of February the 8th, 1887, marks a turning point in determination, you no, know, like in determined tribal citizenship. This act, like developed by, you know, by a federal, federal commission, tasked with creating final ro rules for the five civilized tribes of Oklahoma, the Cherokee, Chickasaw, Choctaw Creek, and the Seminoles. Right. So, so our people were, um, you know, uh, Reuben. You know they were uh you know they're very sh strong you know um and these are the lands where our people were living you know ojibwa you know a lot of these tribes you know were living right here through uh, you know by the you know like the great lakes and going to the south all right um you know this is some of their maps you know, these are Reuben, you know, then you have Gad, you know, which have been more into the plains, all right, and, uh, and they would intermingle, you know, amongst, uh, you know, the house of Judah, all right, because we were living amongst the, each other, all right. So like, yeah.
the five civilized tribes terms you know the term that has been used officially and unofficially since the the le since at least 1866 to design the Cherokee Chox the Chickata um, the Creek and Seminole Indian in Oklahoma for Indian Territory beginning the beginning of 1874 so you know like these are things a lot of bills you know that they were passing and that was just you know over a hundred and some odd years ago man they were dealt it says so it shows you that we're still in captivity they were dealt with a single body of uh, like of the like of, of the barrier of indian affairs and the u.s like department of interior but there was there has never been an unofficial unofficial nation or overall organization of the tribes under the under the name right you know because these are you know like these are all bywords you know that you know because uh, ultimately you know we fell and whatever and um, you know he saw he started to take our land all right let's get up let's get some scriptures i have a couple of scriptures that i wrote down let's get that this thing let's get uh let's get genesis 49 and 1 before uh i go to proverbs genesis 49 and 1 and jacob called unto his sons and said gather yourselves together that i may tell you that which shall befall you in the last day so we're in the last days and jacob you know his uh you know his uh his his sons he uh you know like he blessed them all right and uh so i showed you that jacob was a prophet all right and uh it says gather yourself together and hear ye sons of jacob and hear and hearken unto israel your father right you know and that jacob means supplanter all right because he supplanted esau all right and uh you know it means like supplanter you know to trip up you know, and Israel means uh, Yah, he, Shar, Prince, Allah, or El, Power. So he's the Prince of the Power. Remember, thou, thou art my firstborn, my might, and the beginning of my strength, the excellency of dignity, and the excellency of power. All right, so Reuben. You know, like there, you know, like there was, he was the firstborn, all right? But uh, because he, let's go, let's keep on reading. Unstable as waters, thou shalt not excel, because thou wentest up to thy father's bed, then, stock it, then the father's thou it, he went up. He went up to my couch, right? So, you know, because uh, David, or I'm talking Jacob, all right? He, uh, you know, Jacob, he, he, uh, he had a concubine or whatever. But Reuben, he, uh, he, 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 like he committed adultery, you know? So, you know, like, so like, uh, basically, um, like that's why Reuben didn't get the blessing, all right? You know, like Judah got the blessing, all right? Because Judah, you know, basically is already set up like that. Genesis, um, when you go into that, you know, Genesis 49 and 8. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. All right, so Judah means he, uh, Yahawadah, Yah, he, Hawadah, you know, it means thanks, all right? So Yahweh thanks. All right, so um, you know, because we come out of the waters of Judah, 
you know and uh you know you know basically you know like i'm like going down you know i'm like to uh solomon you know the first the first born you know so you know so we come out the waters of judah so it was all set up like that it says it says that hand it, like it says thy hand shall be in the necks of thy enemies thy father children shall bow down before thee right so even even the other like even um you know the you know the tribes you know you know um, um like judah is the head you know and um you know and use other uh you know you, like you edomites you other heathen are gonna bow down unto the black man all right And the excellency of dignity, right? Because our people were uh, very much noble, you know, the Reubenites and stuff. They're war, they're warriors, man. You know, I think uh, half tribe. You know, because um, when you uh, read about Joshua, you know he, uh, you know, um, Gad, Reuben. Gad, Reuben, and uh, what other tribe? Gad, Reuben, and Manasseh. You know, like those are the ones who who stood. You know, for uh, you know, you know, like they're like the valiant ones. To, you know, who uh, you know, who uh, you know, who, who like who inherited the land first, right? And uh, you know, like they were the like you know, um, like um, like they were like the defenders, all right. But um, I'm just I'm I'm on a schedule, so I'm because uh, uh, I'm just have it. I'm gonna uh, just you know, I'm just gonna just try to push it for the hour. So just bear with me. What else? Yeah, so uh, let's get uh, a scripture, another scripture. Because even um, a lot of uh, a lot of the Reubenites, you know, like they're very dark, you know, and you won't know who's a Jew, uh, like a uh, like a Reubenite. All right, um, you know, guys like Floyd Mayweather, you know, they're Reubenites. Um, Tariq Nasheed, you know, whether they're Reuben or the house of, of uh, Judah, all right, you know, um, you know, like on um, that Tariq Nasheed, he's very uh, knowledgeable, you know, of uh, a lot of history and stuff, even though he likes to push, um, what do you call it, like the FBA. The foundation black American, which we're not black, right? This thing's just, uh, you know, just to distract our people. You know, they want to talk about reparations. You know, and it's like we're not going to get reparations, all right, until, you know, like when the Lord comes, you know, until when the Hawashai comes, then we're going to get that, man, all right? Because we're going to get, you know, because we're going to, uh, you know, like we're going to, it said the saints shall take the kingdom, man. All right, you know the kingdom gonna be taken. All right. And when you have and like when you take a kingdom, that means that you know that you subjugate, you know any you know, like you sub like you make these your enemies subjects. All right, and that's what's gonna happen. Um. Oh yeah, I was watching a document. I was watching a movie, or not a movie. I was watching um, what do you call it? You know, like uh, Waka Flocka, Mom, Deb, all right. Um, you know, with Moff Hoffa. It's very good. I'm not gonna play it for uh, Moff Moff Hoffa. You know, 
this is like a like barber talk kind of talk you know this is their their uh con this is their uh like their platform you know so um you know and they have a lot of good you know like conversation they talk about the tribes you know and um you know they talk you know they you know they talk they talk about a lot of things you know um you know they're you know even though she has the uh the, the blonde wig or whatever right you know because the blonde is a is leprosy right when you have blonde hair that's a, a leopard and it's a sign of leprosy all right but um you know she has a i was watching uh watching it last night you know good interview um you know she's like a mogul or whatever and um you know Nicki minaj she's like founded that bitch you know which she's uh oh, she's an israelite you know she, they come out of the mirage you know i believe she's from her father's from trinidad but they she they have roots back in jamaica all right super cat you know super cats are mirage um over um over vineyard town because I, 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 uh, I was in jamaica for a while you know when i was a young you know so i was going to school down there at the early age you know and um you know um yeah i think um what's his name um like method man you know flavor flav um LL Cool J, they're Rubenites, or uh, if they're not Ruben, they're of uh, the House of Judah, right? Um, who else? Who else? All right, because you might look at them, but you don't really, you know, they have different spirits, man. You know, Floyd Mayweather. You know, Floyd Mayweather. He's been talking about he's an Israelite, man. Let's see that. I'm gonna have to definitely do a part two. It's all spiritual, man. So, you know, like the Floyd Mayweather. Okay, I'm gonna put Jews. Yeah, let's, uh, you know, like this is for educational purposes. Let's go. Jews. Mm. People, you gotta realize the first Jews were black. 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 Jews. Yes. Not Jews. 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 It's just in the U.S. I mean, the U.S. right now, the Jews got all the Jews. Right, right. <laughs> the Jews sell all the Jews. Right. Real shit. The Jews sell all the Jews. Right. Real shit. The Jews sell all the Jews. Right. Real shit. Yeah. So even right now, this whole controversy with um, you know, with um, you know, Kanye West. You know, Kanye West probably a um, like a Rubenite or of the house of judah right but uh you know he's been stirring up a controversy about you know that where they're you know the tr tribes let's put, put that and it's for educational purposes all right Twelve, the, the 12 lost tribes right <laughs> All right, let's see. Cause all of this is just uh, all this just control opposition, right? And this is this, you know, like this is basically like back in you know like '92, you know, when the awakening was being broadcasted, you know, on in the internet, you know, it's like you're on the um, on these television shows, you know, with um, 
you know, like Jerry Springer. Uh, what else? You know, with their Amalekite. Um, 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 like Montel Williams. <laughs> you know, that whole uh, thing. And, you know, so it's coming back. All right. And then, you know, you watch them, these movies, you know, like by these Jewish directors, you know, like they know who the tribes are. All right. But this is for educational purposes. Let's go. When all of the, um, like the Catholics, they wouldn't, they wouldn't divorce people. Right. So the right. Jewish lawyers came and they were willing to divorce people. That's when they first came into their money. So like, say with me and Jay, with our, our culture, with the, with the darker Jews, uh, first of all, cause you gotta- happens when anybody starts talking deep. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, with the, dark, with the darker Jews, the 12 lost tribes of, of Israel, who we are, cause we Jewish also, we, right. we from Africa also, we the blood of Christ. So we're not just black, we are Jew, just like the Jewish people. And now we're coming into money, but the main thing is I gotta drink the Douce over the Hennessy mm -hmm. as the first step to us coming together, like how the Jewish people came together. Mm -hmm. But we couldn't even talk about, I remember Ben Horowitz called me after 444 and said, I don't know about Jay giving up business, Jewish business secrets. Mm -hmm. And these secrets... Said, we, we talk about, um... Yeah, so, you know, the tribes, you know, they're, uh, you know, they're talking about what's going on. I think there was another a guy, um, what's his name, like Stephen, with the witch or whatever. Um... You know, he, 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 like they say that he committed suicide or whatever, but um, it's very uh, foul play, whatever, because he was take, talking about certain things, what's going on with our people and stuff. So it shows you like, you know, like who runs the world, the earth to give into the hand of the wicked. Um, you know, um, let's, um. Uh, Let's continue back into this. I'm gonna, um, I just saw a lot of history. I'm probably gonna have to do like a part two or um, try and just sum it up as much as possible. One second. The lock here. Yeah. Put mine. Uh, yeah. So let's uh let's put this Mars. I think in the Moors, I think it's chivalry. Okay, the more charity school. All right, and uh, one second, just uh, put put a couple of my notes. One second, bear with me. school all right the moors of the moors charity school all right so uh, they could they call us people moors more just means black all right because a lot of our people were um you know they will call themselves more you know um especially uh in morocco um you know certain parts of north africa you know and uh, they would classify themselves as moors and they were practicing the islam like that's why uh, you know the spanish 
you know, basically when uh, Alexander, Alexander the Sixth of Rome, he basically took over. He called himself the Father Pope, you know, under the Borgians family, and uh, and this is how they, have, you know, established themselves. All right, Revelation uh, twenty. I get that after, but um, fast forward in Moore's Charity School. Moore's Charity School was founded in 1754 in Lebanon, in Lebanon, Connecticut. Now in the town of of Columbia, all right, with Lebanon, all right, like Connecticut. So it says uh, it was a like it was a Puritan, it was a Puritan Calvinist minister. Elazar will look to like to provide education for Native American who design you know like who designed to be like missionaries to native tribes all right so our people were uh, well learned you know in uh, you know science you know botany um, agricultural you know maps you know astrology or um slakia or um you know our people were were uh, uh well versed you know of uh this of these things right but uh you know You know, this is a a a a thing too, like Dartmouth College, right? Which was funded by our people, right? But eventually, uh, you know, like the Duponts, like Dupont family, you know, like they took over, all right. So this is another uh, another article. This is the Delawares, all right. It says the true story of the Delaware Moors. Um, don't want to think, cause it's very in depth. Cause they know who the tribes are. You know, like that's why they're trying to. Uh, you know they're trying to do all kind of things you know they're, they're trying to pass the anti anti sam bill and all kind of different bills all right because they don't want the truth out there there's something about i think about the dupont man so lucky i'm just uh because of vast uh article because right, um eventually um you know like the dupont family you know they played a a big big role in our in our downfall man And like you know, like and what messed up our people as well. All right, was um, you know, the damn um, uh, like not the paternal lineage. You know, like they would tr trace their lineage to the mother. Maternal. And that's what happened, man. All right, we started to bring, uh, you know, these damn uh, Edomites, you know, amongst us, you know, and uh, and that's what happens, man. That's exactly what happens, right? Because your lineage it goes to your father's side, 
All right, and let me, uh, just for edification, you know, because we're going to see and listen to what the wise King Solomon said. Wisdom of Solomon 7. Yeah, find that. Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 1. I myself also am a mortal man, right? So we're in this mortal flesh, right? We're in this weak, you know, this weak, wicked, you know, sinful flesh, right? The chains of darkness, like of like to all, and of the offspring of him that was first made of the earth, so Adam, all right? And we know who Solomon, Adam, you know, Melchizedek, you know, all different, all these different incarnations. And in my mother's womb was fashioned to be flesh in the time of 10 months beginning it says like it says being compacted in the blood of the seed of man and the pleasure that came with sleep all right so you know like this is how you know we would uh you know how man and woman uh you know when you have sex you know and you have child and you have uh, offspring, you know, you know, like the mother would, that would give the father, you know, you know, like their name. All right. So it shows you. All right. And uh, basically, you know, um, you know, these uh, these Gadite and Reubenite women, man, you know, and the black women. You know, like there was, you know, cause you know, like we fell, ultimately. But you know, but he saw he 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 tried to come, he tried to come in, you know, by you know, like another way, you know, to the whole maternal lineage, you know, the female ancestor. This is all like you know, you know, like your line it goes through the man, it goes through the man's nuts up, the man, the man nut sack, man. Not the moms or mothers, not sorry. All right. Um, and you know these are a lot of things you know that they have uh, stole from us, man. Um, I'm running out of time. This is uh, pretty much it. I'm gonna mix it up. Then I'm gonna get a couple of scriptures. This is the Gray County. Alright, this is in uh Owen Sound. Alright, so a lot of them, you know, like there were the Reubenites, you know, the, the so called um the Delawares, the you know, Indians or the Moors who were uh inhabitants of this land, man. Alright. Right here in Canada, alright, and, and America. All right. This is uh, the Great County. is a country, is a county of Canadian, of the Canadian province of Ontario. The count set. It says it says the county seat in, is in Owen Sound. It is located in, in the, the sub region of Southern Ontario, named Southern West Ontario. Gray County is also a part of the Georgian Triangle. At the time of the Canadian, of uh, at the time of 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 the Canada like 2006 census, right? Um, you know, and I, this is a lot of things that a lot of history that they don't want us to know, you know, to be privy to. But um. You know, like these, you know, Esau's a, a damn liar, man. Let's, uh, gotta have my notes queued up. It's a lot, yeah. Yeah, this is it. Yeah, this is uh, this is Owen Sound, the bl all right. Black history in the Gray County, all right. 
or blacks or more or black because you know this is you know like these are all by words all right and let's get that we're going to become a a, a a proverb and a by word amongst uh the nations whether we have uh the lord have scattered us man you know instead of just calling you you know of your tribe you know like they want to keep calling us oh you're black you're negro you're colored you know and this is what they were doing man um what's it I'll just look for a by word because you know we're living where we're you know cover by words We're under the curse, right? Let's put that precept, Salakia. Yeah. The byword, Salakia. Yeah. Byword. Deuteronomy 28 and 37, Salakia. Yeah. Deuteronomy 28 and 37. Thou shalt become an astonishment and a proverb and a and a byword among all the nations whether the Lord shall serve thee. So they wanna call you Marano, alright? You know, which just means uh black, you know, or they call us swine, you know, Moran. And all kind of different bywords, man. You know, that they call the black man, alright? This is wickedness, man. All right, but you know our punishment, you know for ours of of our you know for our iniquity is almost up, man. So look okay, at what happened. Yeah, this is uh the black history in the Gray County. Black citizens have been a part of a Gray County since. The very first non-indigenous settlers arrived in northern most part of the Queen's Bush. Some of these earlier pioneers were born in Canada. All right, so you know, so this whole notion that they want to say, oh, you know, oh, um, there is no slavery in Canada. You know, and like there's no, you know, like the blacks people weren't in slavery or whatever. You know. You know, like you know, um, like you know, like we they did, you know, like there was a a transatlantic slave trade, too, right? And um, and they took our people's uh, you know, lands, you know, and um, and like subjugated our our people, man. All right. I'm just I'm gonna. This is going to be uh, almost, I'm almost at the one hour mark, so uh, bear with me. Proverbs 22 and 28. Ooh. Let me highlight this. Proverbs 28. Proverbs 22 verse 28. Remove not the ancient landmark which thy fathers have set, right? So, you know, like these are, the real inhabitants was our people, man. You know, prior to you, like you Edomites coming over here, man. All right, and um, slithering our way, you know, around us, and then killing us, man. All right, all right. You know, because there's a lot of tears amongst our people too, man. All right, let's get that. I have a couple of scriptures, but I probably won't be able to uh, like to uh, go into all of them. So like, yeah. Get Matthew. Uh, say Matthew uh, thirteen, I believe. The wheat and the tears. The weeds and the tears, man. Cause, yeah, how is gonna do the harvesting, man? 
the reaping and the harvest and uh, the harvest almost up all right so you know so the reaper is gonna come man he's gonna chop down what's gonna have to get chopped down and burn whatever has to get burned uh malachi and the stock in matthew 13 verse 24 and another parable put he forth unto them saying so the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man which sowed good seed in the field and while men slept his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way and that's what happened man all right there is you know you know our, when our people go you know and um uh, you know for the most part you know like the woman you know like they were like the damn um like they did everything backwards you know like with the whole like maternal lineage you right you know and their whole uh the, the whole woman worship you know and that's why we all fell all right because uh you know and then you know like these uh you know like these idomians came you know and all these different nations you know are mixing amongst amongst our people man all right so that's why there's a lot of tears you know the idomians you know like anywhere where you know the so-called black latino native women are and they're they're uh, having sex with and having children with man you know like, like a lot of them are tears man so you know so yahweh shah is gonna he's gonna do the reaping and he's gonna and he already knows who's of what stock and who's not but when men slept his enemies came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way but when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruits then appeared the tares also so yeah that's why there are a lot of tears you know right here in canada all right especially when you go in like northern ontario uh, there's a lot of there's a lot when you go uh on the 400 when you go past you know northern uh, north bay going way up a couple hours you know everyone's dark you know a lot of a lot of the tribes are dark man you know you know but there's a lot of tares too all right there's a lot of edomites who's inhabiting these lands you know when you go northern ontario and stuff man you know throughout canada and america man you know this is this is how they got our land man you know by stealing our names our our, our land our titles man so the the servant of the household came and said unto them sir didst thou sow good seed in the field from whence then it cometh tears but said unto them an enemy hath done this the servant said unto him wilt thou go wilt thou then that we go and gather them up but he said nay lest while ye gather up the tares ye root up also the wheat with them right so you know so yahweh and the angels like they know who you know like who the tares are and who are the wheat so you know like who's the elect who's not and also you know ultimately because ultimately the lord is only coming for his elect he doesn't care about the tares all right and um there's a lot of tears you know amongst the tribe the tribes all right who laid down with you know the idomians and and these other uh nations man let both go together until until the harvest and the time of harvest i will saw i i will say to the reaper gather ye together first the tares and the bind them in the bundles to burn them and to gather the wheat into the barn all right so we're you know so we're hoping to be gathered into the barn man all right you know his elect all right the one third all right because you know we got two thirds according to zachariah 
13 it says that two parts therein shall be cut off and die you know the land right um this is a lot of history all right of uh our people man oh yeah it says uh in central in the central gray county such of the small villages of william ford it said the fertile yet sparse population land land along negro creek or the, along the negro creek the negro lake naturally attract pioneers in the mid like the mid 19th century all right so that was been over 100 years and negro right so a lot of there are people we are intermingled you know with uh the tribes all right and uh there's a lot of history we read about like the seminole indians all right i'm coming this is like the one hour mark um you know uh what else is there Cause these are all uh, a lot of homework man Owen sound um there's a whole bunch of different spots i think chatham let's put the blacks let's put that Chad Salakia Yeah, yeah Chadom Yeah, there are a lot of history man, you know, right here in uh, Ontario man that they don't want our people to know all right so uh with that i'd like to say our praises do unto you how about shimmy or shy the one to the apostle of great millstone peace and blessings to hope and members of the elect um hopefully this video was edifying so with that i'd like to say shalom